Hello everyone, I am Brijinder from fluffyclouds.blog and today we are going to talk about Oracle Cloud Migrations. Oracle Cloud Migrations, also popularly known as OCM, is a free service provided by Oracle to seamlessly migrate your VMware workloads to the Oracle Cloud. Now at the time of recording this video, uh, this service uh, supports VMware workloads However, in future, the service uh, will also support other external cloud providers like AWS migration and possibly other providers as well. So in this video, uh, we will discuss on basic terminologies of OCM. We'll go through some of the data flow as well that the OCM service follows. And then we'll jump right into the demo where I will demonstrate how you can use this service to migrate your Linux and a Windows-based virtual machine to, uh, from a vSphere environment to the Oracle Cloud. The OCM service can automatically identify and catalog your external vSphere virtual machines. It means that I can get a complete inventory of my vSphere environment from the OCI environment using this service. It streamlines the grouping of the virtual machines. Uh, the grouping can be done in a number of ways. Some customers like to do the grouping based on networks. Uh, another way of doing the grouping would be grouping based on an application that you're trying to migrate. So this service also helps you seamlessly replicate your virtual machines to the OCI. It uses a block-based replication that we will explain in the next slide. Now the users can also plan the redeployment of the VM as per the business requirement. So some of the tools in planning are like budgeting. Uh, the customers will be able to put a dollar amount for the resources uh, that will potentially be migrated to the cloud even before they are migrated. Now the service can also automatically adjust your configuration. It means like your CPU and memory, the service can automatically make a decision on uh, how much should be the CPU or the memory for this migrated machine. You can also launch the replicated instances anytime or any number of time uh, using this service. Uh, because your virtual machine is converted into a Terraform stack, it means that once it is converted into stack, you can deploy it in the prod environment. You can deploy the same virtual machine in, let's say, a dev test environment or any number of times that you like. So the first step in the cloud migration process is uh, to install a remote agent appliance in your vSphere environment. It is a simple OVA that you deploy and register it with Oracle Cloud Online. The agent helps you discover your vSphere assets. Now the next step is to build an inventory from your discovered assets. Now uh, the important thing to note here is that all your virtual machines are discovered. As of now, there is no way to mask certain virtual machines, which means that uh, pretty much the entire inventory will be visible in the Oracle Cloud. And this is where you start grouping those assets and um, creating, start creating a scope of your migration. Now, the next step in line would be to do some assessment and planning. So this is where the OCM creates recommendations for your target shapes. So this is where the admins will map your resources to the target resources. And this is also where the cost estimates are created. Moving further, the OCM service replicates the disk by taking a snapshot of your VM in the vSphere environment. The snapshots are transferred to the object storage in the Oracle Cloud. The snapshots can be full or incremental depending upon if CBT, which is change block tracking, is enabled or not. The final step in this process is uh, where the execution plans are generated. Uh, they are generated as a Terraform code. Uh, you can deploy and launch these replicated assets 
using the native OCA resource manager because they are a Terraform code. Okay, let's jump into the Oracle Cloud Console and uh, navigate to the OCM service. There are a number of prerequisites that are needed uh, before you could use this service. The good news is that uh, the prerequisites can be automatically deployed using a Terraform stack. Now, if you navigate to the compartment in which you want to configure this service, and you click on the Create Prerequisites link, it will launch a visit for the deployment. Pretty straightforward, follow the prompts and you will be able to deploy the prerequisite stack. I'm not pushing the deploy button because I already have the service deployed. So let's jump right into our demo. The first step will be to create a source environment and download the OVF agent or the OV agent. I will go to the remote connections and source environments and follow the prompt to create a source environment. Now this also provides me with the remote agent download link. I will download this OVA and deploy that in my vSphere environment. Uh, OVA deployment is a fairly straightforward process where you provide the host name and uh, pretty much IP and the gateway. And uh, once the agent is deployed, I will use its IP address to register the agent in the OCI console. The next step in the process is to upload the agent dependencies VDDK file to the object storage. Now the VDDK is a software de development kit, SDK, that provides developers with tools and libraries for creating applications that interact with VMware virtual disks. So Oracle Cloud uses this SDK for any VMDK related operations, just like taking snapshots. Now VDDK can be downloaded from the VMware, I'm sorry, Broadcom website and uploaded to the OCA object storage location. Now that we have installed, registered the agent, dependencies and prerequisites have been resolved. It is time we start the actual migration. In my vSphere environment, I have a Linux underscore demo machine and I have a Windows demo machine. So I'm going to log in to the console of both these machines and I will create a sample text file uh, in these machines. We will validate this text file at the end of the migration once the resources have been moved to OCI. Now let's navigate to the OCI service from the left-hand side hamburger menu and we'll run the discovery process. I will now navigate to the migration compartment and select my source environment and go to the assets link. If this is the first time you're using this service, your asset list would be blank. But in my case, because it's an existing environment, I still have few assets uh, from the previous run. I will now click on Run Discovery and track my work request. It might take few minutes or more depending upon the size of your environment.
So my asset discovery has completed and I can now see my Linux and Windows demo machines in the asset inventory. I can see the VM config details from the OCI console, including the performance metrics, my NIC and my storage config details. The next step is to create a migration project. In OCM, a migration project is a logical container where migration assets and migration plans are created and managed. I will create a simple migration project here. And after creating the migration project, you need to create one or more migration plans. A migration plan in OCM is a detailed mapping of external assets, which is a vSphere VM in our case, to the target assets in OCI and the configuration from which to launch them. The plan includes compartment assignment, shape, site selection, and target uh, network dependencies. You can manage the migration plans by using either the automated recommendations based on the extracted metadata from the source environment or using a manual config. I am now selecting the target environment details like VCN, the target network subnet, etc. You can choose the recommended shape or select your own shape as well, depending upon the requirements. I will now hit the create button and uh, complete the migration plan. Now that migration plan has been created, next step is to add migration assets to this plan. I will select my Windows and Linux demo machines from the inventory and I will add them as migration assets. Once the asset is added, you will get an option to replicate the asset. The replication plugin takes snapshots from the volumes of the source VM and copies them into the OCI object storage replication bucket. You can do incremental transfers as well if you enable CBT on the source VM. I will start replication on both my demo servers it's the most time consuming process of the whole migration workflow. And depending on the size of the disks that you are migrating, it may take a few hours as well for the replication to complete. Next, we create a resource manager stack from the migration plan. The resource manager is a native service from Oracle based on infrastructure as a code model. Now, this step will generate a Terraform stack for the replicated resources in my migration plan. I will now deploy this RMS stack from the same window. 
This will apply the Terraform stack captured in the previous step. You can monitor the progress of this deployment and check the logs by navigating to the native RMS service. As you can see that RMS job completed, let's move to the next steps where we validate the deployed servers. Now that both the demo servers are deployed, let's verify by logging into the servers and check the sample text file that we created before the migration. So this completes the OCM demo. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about OCM, Leave a comment below and I will be happy to answer them.